Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Natasha aka Wellness Diva Chronicles and I'm coming back to you today with a recipe that you can throw together in less than 30 minutes. It contains pasta and cheese and beef so let's just get into it. I used the low carb bread company's rotini pasta for this recipe. I'm going to use the Pat Lafrida 80-20 beef but use whatever you have. You know, use whatever you have and then of course I'm going to just give the meat a nice seasoning garlic powder onion powder some salt and I will place all the ingredients in the description box below you'll then go ahead and mix all the seasoning and the ground beef until everything is evenly distributed and you should let it marinate for at least an hour and sometimes overnight of course the flavors will intensify if you have the time to do it overnight or you have the time to marinate for an hour, but the, the food will taste perfectly fine if you just have to season it, get it on the table in less than 30 minutes. So no worries about that. I then added about a half a tablespoon of Walker's Wood Jamaican Jerk seasoning into the meat. It just made it really flavorful, but it's still mild, so you can build the flavor with this, but I only did about a half a tablespoon. I really wanted it to be mild so everyone could eat it. Then I added about two tablespoons of grated onion. And a lot of people are funny. It's funny, I'll hear people say they don't like onions in their food, but when they eat them grated this way in recipes, like the way we use it for lasagna or a dish like this, people love it. A lot of, a lot of time they can't even tell that it's in there. It's a flair that the onion gives the food that people maybe they can't put their finger on, they just know that they like it. I then drizzle about two teaspoons of avocado oil into a pot over medium hot heat. I then added about two tablespoons of the onions grated from earlier and let that saute until they're about translucent and then we're going to add the meat. So just go ahead and start adding the meat to the skillet. Make sure it's medium heat. You do want it to be hot enough so that it can give it a little nice char but so that the meat will be juicy and not overly cooked. Additionally, until the meat is browned. Go ahead and set the meat aside and let's get into the cheese sauce. Add about a tablespoon of butter to the pot that you're using. I use Kerrygold salted butter. Let the butter melt down a bit and then start adding in the cheese sauce. I ended up adding in two packets. I wasn't sure at this point how many I wanted to add. So I figured I'd add one now at the beginning, add the meat, add the dried noodles, and then let's not dried noodles, but drained noodles, and then see how much I think is the right amount of cheese for the recipe. It ended up being two packets. You should find the noodles at this point that are drained are tender, not mushy, just tender. So add them to the pot with the sauteed meat and the cheese sauce and then just go ahead and stir to combine. Everything's evenly combined. Go ahead and let the dish sit there simmering over low heat in the pot for a couple of minutes it'll just help the flavors combine even better for you and then there you go you're ready to eat it's easy to make it's definitely less than 30 minutes and i hope you and your family enjoy it and of course until the next time all my divas and diva family stay safe and be well